back everyone welcome back to the gloss garage where we make detailing simple and today i got something special for you guys so we're going to be doing what ivan we're going to be restoring my airpods pro and coating his new ones and using what type of coating well we're going to be using the diy detail coating so diy detail ceramic coating and we'll show an image here of my airpods up close compared to the new ones they've seen a lot of uh, abuse we'll say Exactly. So now, quick question, Ivan. So yeah. since we're using it on your iPods, what, are, what chemicals are we going to use just to go ahead and get started? Just So the first thing we're going to do is iron decon. And let me find the right bottle here. Okay. So iron about. decontamination. The reason we're using iron decontamination, I happen to have these in my pocket a lot when I'm doing welding and grinding and stuff like that. And these are magnetic. So they attract that metal. And now I've got metal actually embedded into the plastic. So I'm just gonna spray a little iron decon on here. And we'll see if this actually is iron or just dirt embedded. All right. Uh, yeah, it's starting to... It's starting to purple look. Yeah, we're bit. starting to see a little bit of red. So we'll let it sit for a moment. But while this is sitting, how do you prep yours for the coating? So since it's brand new, I'll just use panel prep, right? Right. That's about it. There's nothing else really to it. And just grab a, we'll dedicate the orange one for the panel prep. Yep. I'll just spray the towel probably instead of the, oh, not rehearsed, trigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, new bottle. New bottle. So we go ahead, a little spray and just wipe it in. Now while you're doing that, I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera so you can actually see yep. the bleeding yeah. from the iron. So here we have it. You can actually see the little red streaks from the iron just going down there. So we do have iron contamination on my AirPods and let's go clean them up. One thing I noticed, Ivan, mine's is already scuffed up. Should I polish that? Should I use 3000 grit sandpaper and make it perfect before I apply a ceramic coat? Not 3000 grit sandpaper, <laughs> but you can actually polish it with the gold standard and just a microfiber towel, all right. that's all you need. I probably won't do it just because it's only a day old. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so w while he's wiping that off. Yeah, and we can see the red here. Like, just, it's rather dramatic actually. Yeah. So. Let me bring the camera a little. Just well here, so we you can, can bring see. this to the camera. Yeah. Just to see how much cleaner it is. Yeah, so much cleaner than it was and we can see the iron contamination there. And Still if we right. open it up, a little bit got in. Where the magnets are, you can see a lot of iron yep. contamination. So let me actually take the AirPods out of here. And I'll clean that iron contamination off. So here, with the AirPods out of it, you can see the iron contamination that we have. That's a lot. Yeah, That's... so let's uh, wipe that clean. And when you're coating these, you actually want to coat the inside and the outside of the case oh, right. because when you're putting the AirPods in there, there's always a bit of a accumulation sometimes of earwax and things like yeah, that. Right. So it'll just make it easier to clean out in the future. Now, quick question. Yeah. So once you're done with this, um, doing this whole process stuff just straight to the panel prep and then go ahead or not panel prep I'm sorry we're gonna go ahead and polish it right we yeah don't need for, a panel prep. for mine I'm gonna polish it so I'm not going straight to the panel prep for yours you already have the panel prep on it your hands are clean so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the ceramic coating yeah. while you continue and go ahead restoring mine yep so Ivan has these new unreleased applicators Yep. So, well, unreleased, but if you're watching this video in 2026, we will have had them for three <laughs> years now. Because I don't think there's many videos online about restoring your AirPods Pro case. Yep. Oh, yeah, none whatsoever. So, I'll probably just do one more dab because it wasn't. Ideally, you want to shake the ceramic coating bottle, but I did it off camera before we started. So, we're going to go ahead and apply it going straight lines you do not want to add scratches on your <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> no you just do whatever you want I'll just go ahead and apply it and what I'm gonna do is just let it sit 
until Ivan's ready to coat. And this ceramic coating, Ivan, you said can go on anything? Really? Anything. Like literally, you know, don't put it on your food. Not really good on cereal. Uh, wouldn't even put it on toast. But, but any, anything unedible. Anything unedible. Uh, you know, if you've got new appliances in the kitchen, same deal. It's going to do a, actually a good job on those, protecting them. Wow, just look at the shine already on yours. Yeah, like it's still stained, it's still a little dirty, but in general, we've really cleaned it up. And you've had that for what, probably over a year already? When, Two years? I don't know, when the AirPod Pros were released. Yeah, it has to be a little over a year and a half. If, yeah. it, if you got it the minute it was released, it has to be about two years ago, because yeah. that's when I had my first original ones as well. So now that it's been sitting for a while, starting to dry up, but yeah. I'm not worried about the coating drying up yet. No. Just. And you know, the reason we're actually coating these is because it'll make cleaning them easier in the future. Uh, it's not gonna prevent scratching them obviously, but it is gonna make, like I said, cleaning easier and getting the, you know, they're not gonna be sticky. Uh, we both work with our hands, you know. Yeah. Sock is a detailer, but he also has a, another job where he does welding and mechanical and all sorts of fun yeah. stuff. And I work on my bus all the time, so. One day I'll be a true detailer. You are a true detailer. <laughs> Just not 100% full-time yet. Not full-time. Yeah, your wife is pretty much full-time as a yeah, detailer. Yeah, she is. He's the one that does the videos, but she's the one that does the work. Yeah, she really does. And I always say it in all my videos, she does 80% of the work. I just do the quick face and the quick touch-ups. That's well, all I do. Oh, you do the editing. And the, the editing <laughs> and the videos, but yeah. you know, my wife does the rest. So without uh, miraculous intervention, wet sanding and all that fun stuff, mine are very satisfactory very now, new. much better than they were. They're not as good as socks, obviously, because his, is, his are brand new, but. Yeah, let's show it on camera because it literally looks shiny, glossy. Yeah. And then we'll bring it up. And we're talking about probably two-year-old AirPods. Yeah. That's... And if I wanted to keep going and going and going with the polishing, yeah. but eh, I know yeah. I'm going to be putting them back in my pocket and abusing them in a few minutes, so... Back to welding them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, tomorrow's driving the bus. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you guys don't know, this video will be probably released a little later this week, but he will be doing a surprise visit over at the rag company. Uh, you had coating on here yes, already? Yes, I already had coating on let there. Let me throw it. just another little drop, just to make sure. And I, I think I, I put like two drops, which is crazy because yeah. three <laughs> drops is for a whole panel on the car. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. It's a prime or not to prime. That's the answer for AirPods. <laughs> oh, the, uh, yeah, actually I should have done the, but the gold standard polish does a, a great job. It actually doesn't need the prep wipe. Doesn't have any fillers. No, no fillers. So it's not a necessity. And now your coating is more than ready to wipe off. If you really want to know that if an actual polish doesn't have fillers, the way I did it was I polished a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yep. Had a polish on the vehicle, sprayed two two sprays of ceramic gloss, buffed it off. The next day, let it cure, and it was beating perfectly. Came back a week and a half later, later, full of dirt, full yeah. of grime, still beating like crazy. Yeah. So, um, and I've used other polishes on the market. I'm not going to say any names, but I did that technique on the other side, and within a week after the solvents evaporated from the actual yeah. panel, the paint, and it took away the actual protection as well. So it wasn't beating, it was just sheeting on that side. Exactly. So, go ahead. Wipe them off. And this has been sitting here for what, probably like two minutes, three minutes? It yep. don't matter. This coating doesn't care. It's uh, user friendly. User friendly. Yeah. Sock friendly. Yeah. Now, speaking of sock, while he's wiping these off, are you subscribed to this channel? Did you give this video a thumbs up? Did you hit the notification bell? Well, if your answer is no to all of these, why not make it a yes? Subscribe to this man. He's worth it. He's got a lot of great information, detailing, made simple, 
it is simple. And he's a fun guy to watch, too. And maybe one day he'll actually have his wife on video. Yeah. Appreciate it, Ivan. And Ivan, I can't hold my iPods. It's too slick. <laughs> yeah. They... <laughs> Look, it's literally <laughs> slipping off my fingers. Yeah. And let's do the after shot. Of course, we can still tell which ones are yours, but uh, mine have dramatically yeah. improved. And uh, yeah. And it looks okay. super shiny right away. Look how much glossier. Look at the sheen. Yeah. On this. Yeah. And you know, nice and. Nice and clean. Nice and clean and slippery. slippery. <laughs> yeah, actually, they are. <laughs> yeah, it's like ah. Uh. <laughs> So you're going to be losing your AirPods Pro soon because yeah. they're going to sl slip. I off. can't even hold on to them you with can't rubber hold them gloves. Like we, yeah, we're just going to hold. We're, <laughs> okay, we're going to do. Let's let's get a little closer yeah. here. Do it this way, and a little more oh. to the middle. There we go, yeah. and perfect. Back up a little, maybe. That's perfect. Look at your difference. Now it actually looks white again. Yeah. So and the gloss shine. And. There we have it. So there we go. So everyday household items can be protected with ceramic coating. And, and not to mention your car. Literally. Yeah. Use it on your car. Um, it's a great way to show that just how versatile ceramic coatings are. And also, like Ivan said, you guys can use even some car detailing products. Have you used rinseless wash? I've used rinseless wash to clean the floors and my oh, countertop. Yeah, yeah. And it works amazing. Yeah. So. And it smells like apples right afterwards. I haven't seen them this clean since I bought them. <laughs> so if you guys like this type of video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Cool. Good job.